Welcome back, Rich Minds. It's your boy Reno coming back to you with another video. And today's topic is gonna be they better. You came back and better. Shocking truth. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, they are bitter. You came back and better. Shocking truth. All right. Now, before we get into this video, y'all, let me say this. You have to understand, y'all, when you begin to start doing better after coming from a place of doing bad, doing terrible, right? You know, an eviction, repossession, needing them for money. Okay. You got to understand something, y'all. When you begin to elevate, when you begin to be successful, when you begin to really sprout out and be that person who God created you to be, they're not going to like it and it's going to cause them to be bitter. They wanted to be the one. They wanted to be the individual who changed and broke the generational curse. They wanted to be the one that said, yeah, I did that. I did this. Which means they're not genuine. But sticking to the point, y'all, they are bitter because you came back and not only were you back, y'all, but you are not better. Somebody drop in the comments and say back and better. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say back and better. All right. Now, we're going to go ahead and get directly into this video, y'all. But before we do so, y'all make sure y'all leave a thumbs up on this video as well as subscribe to the channel. Yes, sir. Not only that, y'all, but y'all be sure to ring my bell so you can be notified after every single video I post. Let's get into it, chosen one. So, number one, family, the first reason they are bitter is God elevated you, right? Listen, y'all, go ahead and drop that word down below in the comments. Elevation, right? Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say elevation. But listen, y'all, when God elevates you, this is going to cause you to be a better person to be a bigger person, right? You know, it's not to say that you are superior to anybody. However, this is how they are going to view you, all right? When God elevates you, you literally become a better person. You're not drinking no more. You're not smoking no more, right? You're not trying to fornicate, you know, as much. And I understand, y'all, that we are human beings. We all have needs. But maybe you're trying to do it different. You're trying to go celibate, right? God is elevating you. You're trying to go abstinent, abstinent, okay? But what I'm saying, y'all, is that when it comes to you becoming a better individual, this means that God elevated you. And so what happens is, y'all, it's going to cause you to be a different version of yourself. It's going to cause you to be a better version of yourself. And what that's going to do to them is, is say, you changed. You changed, man. Why are you acting like this? You changed, girl. Why are you acting like this? You can't come out with me for a few seconds. No, I can't come out with you. I'm married. Right? No, I can't go out and drink with you. I'm trying to be abstinent. I don't want to drink no more. I don't want to do anything else. I am trying to keep my purity. And so people are going to look at that like, you think you better than us. You know, y'all, Jay-Z said, most time it's not you who changed. It's the people who are around you. And family, I can tell y'all right now, you know, ever since I've gotten this new place of mine, you know, since people look at me as, oh, he's doing better now, you know, certain people act a certain way towards me, persecuting me, you know, as if I'm not supposed to be happy because God has blessed me with something. I was happy when it was you, right? And I'm not talking to my supporters, y'all. I'm actually being transparent with y'all. But what I'm saying, family, I feel the same thing you feel. Just because you decide to elevate yourself And let me say this y'all God is the one who promotes us And God is the one who elevates us But just because you decide to better yourself And fall in alignment So God can elevate you It doesn't mean that you should be persecuted It doesn't mean that you should be crucified Right? They want to pin you up and nail you up The same way they did Jesus So I need y'all to understand something you know, when you are being elevated, a lot of people won't like that. And you know what they really doing is what they're doing is they are activating that crab in the barrel mentality, right? Crab in the bucket mentality. And as soon as you try to lift up, you start seeing the light. OK, you start seeing the day of light. 
they going to pull you back down with doubt. They going to pull you back down with fear. They're going to pull you back down with temptation, with lust. They're going to pull you back down with your past. They're going to pull you back down with a guilt trip. Are y'all following what I'm saying? So when God elevates you, they're going to tell you that you changed. I did not change. I changed for the better. I became a bigger person. I grew. But I didn't change. Acting, meaning as if you are acting like you are superior and you are condescending and you are sitting high and looking low on people. That's not that's not what we do. That's God's job. God's job is to sit high and look low. But that's not what we do as human beings. And so without, you know, beating this y'all into a pope, all I'm simply saying is the reason why they are bitter is because you are now doing better. You came back and did better. You know, y'all. I'm going to say this right here, family. You know, I feel like uh, when people surpass other individuals, especially when they were there first, let me explain. You may have a YouTuber, and this YouTuber has been on YouTube for 10, 20 years, right? They just now starting to get some type of attention. But let's just say you got a person who's been on YouTube for, you know, 10, 12 months, right? And now they are they have surpassed the person who's been on YouTube for 10, 20 years. That person who got who been on YouTube for 10, 20 years, they may feel some type of way. They may have something to say. They may have an opinion about it. But see, instead of trying to be jealous or envious or bitter, you know, because of somebody else's success, why don't you pray more? Why don't you, you know, study from the, uh, study from their uh, path and their blueprint, right? God said in all that you do, seek knowledge and wisdom with understanding. Why are you being bitter about it, right? So, you know, getting back to my point, y'all, the point is that's the same thing with you. Like maybe they were doing something first and God elevated you past them for whatever reason. He worked in mysterious ways. Maybe they wasn't obedient. Maybe they didn't take it serious, right? Maybe, you know, they were haughty, right? They had haughty eyes, right? Maybe he was teaching them a lesson. Maybe you caught on faster. Whatever the case is, y'all, we'll never know why God does the things that he do. All we can do is just fall into an alignment. That's it, y'all, fall into alignment. But sticking to the point, family, you know, God elevated you, and this caused them to be very bitter y'all right but without beating the dead horse family number two is gonna be this y'all you won't allow them to guilt trip you okay guilt trip does not work let me say it once again y'all louder for my chosen ones in the back listen family you will not allow them to guilt trip you y'all know what that is when a person is trying to make you feel bad for becoming a better person when they're trying to shame you into feeling like you need to start back drinking, start back lying, start back going out to the club with them. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? It's like they try to guilt trip you. And what happens is, y'all, they end up, it ends up working on certain people because this is a form of manipulation. If they can't just straight up, you know, come to you and manipulate you or straight up come to you and make you feel a certain, some type of way about it, what they're going to do is, is play on your heart. Yeah, I'm going to play on your emotions. I'm going to play on the way you feel. Like, one thing about me, y'all, I can't stand when a person tell me you changed up. I don't like that, y'all, because I done been down so low. I'm talking about from being homeless, from being, you know, not having a car, grinding every single day, working in a warehouse, working as a bartender, making what what, what it was, y'all. The pay was what, like? $5 an hour, $6 an hour. In 2019, after I graduated with a bachelor's, don't talk, don't talk to me about the struggle. Growing up in poverty, nine siblings, don't talk to me about the struggle. See, I can't stand when a person tell me you changed. After everything I've been through, you think I would have the heart? You think I would have the mindset? To look at somebody and say, ha, 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 I'm doing better than you? Never in life. Never in life. And so sticking to the point, y'all, 
you can't use that against me to guilt trip me. I done been down so long to where it felt like up to me. I've been down so long to where whenever I get up, I'm extra humble. Because that's that's a signal from me to God saying, hey, I thank you, creator. I thank you, most high. I thank you, Jehovah. I thank you for what you've given me. So understand something, y'all. When a person try to guilt trip you and you're not going for it, and for whatever it is, y'all, again, whatever they may try to use on you, okay, it may not be you changed. It may be something else. It, it can be they can use your kids on you. They can use your job. Whatever it is that you care about, that's what they're going to use to guilt trip you. you. Follow what I'm saying? So sticking to it, y'all. The guilt trip does not work. And when they see it don't work, they're going to get real bitter. Okay? Make sense what I'm saying, y'all? Drop in the comments and let me know. But not only that, y'all, drop in the comments and say stay bitter. Right? Number three, y'all, it's going to be this. You are unbothered. Okay? You are unbothered. Family, when you are unbothered, this is one of the most powerful positions that any human being can be in in life. All right? Being unbothered means that they can't pull at your emotions. They can't pull at your weaknesses, your vulnerabilities. Like, it's almost as if you are numb. It is almost like you don't even see it. Like, you Stevie Wonder to it. You Ray Charles to it. Right? However, it's like a light switch. You understand how to cut it on and off. <laughs> And see, this is what they can't stand Because anything that they're saying to you Is like it's going straight through you Right? It's almost like you a ghost Anything they throw is going straight through You know? And so, when you are unbothered, y'all That's a superpower Right? When you are unbothered, that is a superpower Think about a person who went to the military And, you know, somehow they're able to maintain peace You know? And it's bombs going on. You know, you got AK-47s, M16s. And really, I don't even know all the guns that be in the military, y'all. But all those big uh, bazooka guns, tanks, whatever the military got, y'all. And they somehow still are able to maintain their peace. That's a powerful person. That's a person who said, listen, I am fully prepared for death. And God, if, if it's in your will... To allow me to, to live And make it back to my family Then so be it And if it's not Then so be it I am unbothered That's a powerful person And that's how you gotta look at yourself See when it comes to you being unbothered You don't care about the sticks and th stones They throwing at you You don't care about the slander You don't care about the rumors You don't care about the lies you don't care about the guilt trip and manipulation. You know who you are. Somebody drop in the comments and say, I know who I am. You know who you are. And this is why you got to keep pushing. You got to stay encouraged. You got to stay motivated. Or else they're going to use guilt trip and manipulation to make you feel so low. To make you feel unworthy of your own blessings. That's what gets me. It is your blessings, not their blessings. It is your blessings. And they try to make you feel bad for it. Okay. But anyway, y'all, moving on to the next one. Number four is going to be this, y'all. Uh, their life is in shambles. Okay. Their life is in shambles. Family, some people are not mature at all. Okay. Emotionally, mentally, financially, physically. Like a lot of people are not mature, even spiritually. It all boils back down to being mature. It's like if one person get a whooping, you want this person to get a whooping. He ain't even did nothing. You mad at him because you got a whooping. You got yourself that whooping. You earned it. There's some people right now, y'all, who earned their way into jail. They broke in. <laughs> you know, they did nothing but things that was going to amount to prison or death. And they earned it. So when some people, you know, get into shambles and they look at your life and they see how blessed you are, they see how successful you are becoming. And mind you, y'all, wasn't nothing handed to you. Mind you, family, it wasn't nothing, you know, that was given to you. You straight up work. You work hard. You know, it's almost like, once again, that sibling who is, 
you know, watching you become successful, you are trying to, uh, I mean, and you, and my, and by the way, y'all, you are working hard, right? But you're trying to become successful. Meanwhile, working hard, elevating, you studying more, reading more, going to different seminars. And this one sibling over here is doing nothing. Absolute nothing. They life is in shambles. And they're watching you go up. Yet they are withholding so much bitterness in their heart. They are withholding so much, you know, hurt and pain in their heart. Jealousy, envy in their heart. Are y'all understanding what I'm saying? It's like since their life is in shambles, they don't want nobody else to win. They don't want nobody else to succeed. You are not deserving of God's blessing. I don't want you to succeed. Hold on. Wait, what? Why? When it was you, I was happy for you. I wanted to see you win. When I even gave you encouragement and positivity. But I can't even get a hey dog. Oh, okay, I got you. This goes back to maturity. Your life is in shambles. And so you want me to be in shambles with you. You know what that sound like, y'all? Misery loves company. Yeah, family. Misery loves company. And so keep that in mind. When you come around with your success and people look down on you. Keep that in mind. When you're just trying to have a civilized conversation with one of your friends or family members and they act like they can't talk to you, right? And they have they act like they have this, this type of energy towards you and you ain't did nothing to them. Matter of fact, you ain't seen them in 20 years. You ain't seen them in years. And so with that being said, y'all, that is a major key. Their life is in shambles. And that's sad, that, that's sad y'all I don't wish bad on nobody I want to make that clear I don't wish bad on no one But it's ridiculous When you can't even give a person uh, And a loved one at that A simple congratulations I'm proud of you All you can give them is negativity It's sad Okay But anyway y'all Moving on to the next one Which is the last one That is number five And they can't harm you Okay They can't harm you Alright when a person cannot harm you, hurt you, or hinder you, for some reason, that gets up under their nails, their skin. It does, y'all. Can you imagine if you were once married to a person, all right? And some I'm probably about to speak some of y'all life, but if you were married to a person, and when they was married to you, they enjoyed the fact of being narcissistic. You know, they enjoyed the fact of making you feel wrong, making you feel bad, you know, making you feel like you were going insane in the brain. <laughs> it's like they got a kick out of that. But as soon as you begin to move on with your life, as soon as you begin to, you know, find God again and, you know, get your peace back and you're no longer married to them, y'all are now divorced, you know, and you're smiling all over social media. The glow is all on you. It's like God is just showing through you, right? It, it, it makes them so bitter. Because part of their happiness was making you sad. A part of their happiness was getting on your nerves. Making you feel like you were insane. Keeping you in chaos. This is how you know that they were the enemy. Why? Because the enemy come to kill, steal, and destroy. Come on, y'all. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The enemy come to kill, steal, and destroy. And so with that being said, y'all, the fact that they can't hurt or harm you anymore, it makes them bitter, you know? And I don't really speak on too many um, people's business, y'all. But, you know, I'm, this is my channel, family, and I'm going I'm to speak my mind. You know, the situation with CJ So Cool and Royalty, you know, um, I don't know too much about it. But it seems to be that that woman is trying to put that man's life through, through shambles and in shambles. I'm not saying that he didn't do anything wrong, y'all. Obviously, I would have to make a whole other video, and I'm not going to do that. But it just kind of go with the point. It's like she's trying to... Take my man through hell and back and hell and back again. 
false allegations you know to from from his you know uh, uh, point of view and perspective seems to be that she tried to get him set up you know take his kids from i mean just all different types of malicious activity are y'all following what i'm saying why it's because she can't harm him no more they're not together so what can i do to get on your nerves what can i do to make you feel bad about yourself again Ha! Ah, i know and a person get bitter when they can't you know and so sticking to the point y'all they are bitter you came back and better shocking truth y'all all right but with that being said family let's go ahead and recap this video and then we'll conclude this video so number one y'all god elevated you this is the first reason why they are bitter okay number two uh you won't allow them to guilt trip you number three you are unbothered number four their life is in shambles and number five y'all man they can't harm you okay they can't harm you Y'all already know how we do, family. Y'all make sure y'all get one of these Yes Sir t-shirts. Book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Uh, enroll into my social influence course. Or purchase any one of my books, y'all. All through the link in my description. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Y'all keep a rich mentality. Peace. What's good, family? It's your boy, Reno. Check this out, y'all. I just dropped my social influence course, okay? Where I show you how to build up your social media platform as well as become a self-published author. Understand what I'm saying, y'all? If you want to leverage your expertise, okay, you got to publish your book. But not only that, if you want to get popping and build your community, you got to build up your social media platform. And so I put that all in one course, okay? And so all you got to do is go to the link in my bio, all right? And drop in the comments, social influence, if if you want to build up your social influence, click that link in the bio and we're going to get you popping. Keep a rich mentality.